Thank you so much for clicking on this video. This is Meek. Welcome to my channel. I have a bunch of videos on GarageBand, so if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe or just at least check out all of my videos. They can be very helpful and I consider myself a resource. So yeah, thank you so much. So today we have something super, super fun, okay? I'm gonna be showing you how to use your arcade loops in GarageBand for iOS, okay? All you need is access to a computer and that can be a desktop or a laptop and you can do so much, okay? Because arcade is super worth it. There's so many benefits of using arcade and GarageBand. First and very obviously that you have access to thousands of loops, okay? And they update them every day. So you have all of these loops. You can make so many different types of music or you can make popular music and make it differently, okay? All you need is access to a desktop or laptop, right? Because let's go to my um, applications, all right? So you can use Arcade as a standalone. You do not need a DAW. Okay, I'm just gonna type in Arcade. Maybe one day Arcade will be mobile, okay? But until then, I'm gonna show you how to do this. So Arcade is a standalone, okay? You can't program beats in the standalone in Arcade, okay? But you can um, download sounds and just, you know, go through the library. You can preview everything. The first things first is you wanna go here to settings. Okay, you wanna go to content storage. You wanna make sure your content is stored on an external hard drive. So you can store more on your hard drive or you can store them on a computer that you use, you know, whoever's computer you have. Okay, so let's go here, okay? And I'm gonna to go to Tamika's passport. Now, I'm Tamika. Okay, so I can go, I can find my arcade content because it's gonna be, you know, on my, Hard drive. I make it easy to find my arcade content folder because I organize my hard drive to find things and search things by the date it was modified. I'm gonna go to arcade content, all right? And then you have all these different folders, but the only folder you need to focus on is the arcade content, all right? And then you wanna go to loops, and here are your loops, okay? So the thing about this is that the loops are not labeled as to what they are, so this would, wouldn't say whatever it is. So let's see what this is. You see, it doesn't say what folder I got it from or anything like that, and it doesn't say what it is. It says audio preview, which is cool because I'm going to show you how to work around that. All right, it doesn't say that it's a guitar sample. That's fine. But what I do know is that if I download it today, I'm going to remember what I downloaded. Program, your computer, you don't even have to be using a MacBook, okay? This is not just for my MacBook users. This is for people with HPs or whatever laptop you have. Okay, you want to make sure you organize your folders and have things in the order of the date you created them, okay? So then even with the kits, you can go to kits and you can hear the kits you don't. Uh. All right, so that's a vocal kit more so. So now that we know that, okay, so... Let's get to it. The second thing you want to do is we want to go click here to lines and you want to choose, you know, what samples you want to download today. I want to download some soulful stuff. So I'm going to go to the 70s line. There we go. I love this line. All right. And then you want to go to samples, samples. You want to go to samples. All right. And then you want to go to instruments and then you want to pick what instrument you want. Pick a flute, horn, keyboard, guitar. I'm gonna pick a guitar today. All right, and then you want to just go through. All right. I like that. So after you find one that you like, you wanna go here to download to this cloud. All right, and I'll find another one. Like that so I already know I'm gonna download that so I got two samples downloaded okay so then I'm gonna go back to the finder I'm gonna to go to my passport to where my arcade content is arcade content and then it already says loops today at 107 a.m. I am up early okay for y'all so let's look at the loops that we downloaded today so so that's I'm gonna put Daisy guitar and C minor so here I'm gonna rename it so I'm gonna push rename Daisy guitar C minor 115 BPM. All right, I'm gonna rename that to Daisy guitar 4 C minor. You want to make sure you save this information so you know what key is in, and then 115 
BPM, so you know what BPM works with it. If you have a MacBook, it's as simple as double clicking your loop and going to share, go to AirDrop. I'm using my iPad and you can just save it to files and I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it Arcade Loops. All right, and I can just push save. This is that simple to do it like that, okay? But for my people that don't have a MacBook laptop, I'm going to show you. So what we need to do is we need to open up our you know, email. So I'm going to go to Compose. And I'm going to send it to myself. So I'm putting me. Uh, 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 uh. Arcade. Samples. Okay. And then I'm going to just drag this in here, this loop. And I'm going to drag in a loop. Alright. Okay. And then I'm going to send it. Alright. It says message sent. I'm going to. So now I'm going to go here. Right, so now I'm going to go. So now I'm going to go to this box with the arrow pointing upward. Save to files. Save to arcade loops. Now, because I airdropped this to show you guys how to do that, it's going to say, you know, replace it or not, replace. And then I'm going to go to the next one and do the same thing. Go to this box with the arrow, save the files, arcade loops, save. And I'm going to save it to my Google Drive just for backup, saving to drive. Perfect. And then I'm going to go here to files, arcade loops, I'm going to arcade loops. And there they are. All right, so now let's go to GarageBand. All right, and I have a loop pulled up from the artist pack, Tom Mish. I got like a little drum break. So I'm going to use that drum break for my soulful guitar riff. So then I'm going to go here to loops. All right, and then I'm going to go to files. All right, then I'm going to go to browse items from files app, from the files app. And then, all right, so then I'm going to go to recents. It'll pull it up, but I'm going to show you how to go to the folder. So I'm going to go to iCloud Drive, Arcade Loops, tap on Daisy Guitar. It'll pop up at the top because everything is ABC order D before O. Browse files app, I'm going to go to Daisy Guitar. For, all right, so there we go. So now you just drag it in. All right, so I'm just putting it on there. Drag it in there. You can see it's a little off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to settings, tempo. I'm going to change it to 115, 115, I don't know, something like that. All right, boom. So now we got a perfect four bar loop. And the artist loop pack, you know, it didn't bother it. It adjusts perfectly the drum loop that I use. I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to loop that. And then I'm going to go back to loops and I'm going to put that here. All right. And that is how you get arcade loops into GarageBand iOS. Thanks for watching.